Tonight on Toy Shiz, a spooky time with the Mistress of the Dark. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another spooky good time. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Elvira figure from NECA Toys. And this is part of their Toonie Terrors line, just in time for Elvira's 40-year anniversary. Congrats on that. That's pretty cool. On the back side of the packaging... Her traditional chair candelabra and shows you how to cut that out. And on the bottom, here's everyone involved with the creation of the figure. So thanks for that. You even get a little signature from Elvira from her Queen Bee Productions. And of course, here is the barcode as well. They're starting to hit Target stores and that's where I found mine. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooky cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Toonie Terrors Elvira figure from NECA Toys. And while I got you here, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, with this new Elvira figure all taken out of the packaging, she's looking all sexy, right? Of course, this is Elvira. Well, you wouldn't expect any less. Little spooky, little sexy. It's a pretty good looking action figure, I gotta say. And I say action figure in the sense of, yeah, I gotta get much movement out of her. So she's more of a statue per se, like most of these Toonie Terrors figures. But if you're more of someone that just wants something cool for their desk, or better yet, their Halloween setup, or you're just a Toonie Terrors fan, I think you'll be happy with this figure. There are some imperfections on mine, to be quite honest with you. I did go through a few just to get the best one, mostly in her eyes and such. Some of the pink gets a little heavy, but as you can see, it looks like her arms would move, but on mine, they are definitely not budging. But I've had Toonie Terror's limbs move before, but yeah, nothing going on. And you see some scratches right here, unfortunately, and I think that's because of the twisty tie that was around her, maybe in the packaging, maybe even something I did when I was removing it. So something to keep an eye out for when looking. A couple paint splotches right there on her wrist and such. But overall, the face is great. The paint looks good. There's just gonna be some imperfections here and there. So in all honesty, yes, if you have the chance, go through a few on the shelves and get yourself the good looking one. And of course, the most fun you can have is with other Toonie Terrors, other horror icons. Immediately I go, you know what? This would look pretty cool with Beetlejuice, right? And they do look good. They're just very cool to have, especially having just Elvira next to Beetlejuice's tomb. You know, you can go the Kenner route if you wanted to do that. And speaking of which, in terms of scale yes, yeah, she will go with some old Kenner Beetlejuice. Figures around the five, five and a half inch mark. You can always add a few inches, of course, to Beetlejuice. If you get what I mean. Yeah, anyways. So in all honesty, it's a very fun figure. It's great to see Elvira, and I'm really looking forward to that NECA Toys' eight inch cloth goods action figure that they got coming out next year. In terms of the paint scuffage and whatnot, again, make sure you go through a few, and then when you're taking her out of the packaging, just keep notes, rally around the waist, where that little twisty tie holds her in. That way you don't scuff it up like you did mine. Paint wise, costume, the look, the tunification of her. Yeah, it's pretty darn cool. And I think you'll be really happy with it in terms of the whole Halloween setups that I know y'all got going on right now for the holiday season. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Elvira figure. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Elvira. Go watch Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, right? It's a great movie up on Amazon uh, Prime right now. If you haven't seen it, anything Elvira, it's just a lot of fun, especially for the spooky season. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, tell them I was more than just a great set of boobs. It was also an incredible pair of legs, too. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.